using the, all of these types of games in the class is, is, can be very interesting because it allows for a lot of questions and discourse about how games are using and talking about different forms of history. We've been joking a lot during class this semester that, that really the class isn't about history video games, it's just about Assassin's Creed. Um, <laughs> because it's the one that everybody seems to know and all of them read those histories, whether it's the American Revolution, French Revolution, often from the perspective of those game experiences. Students who play Call of Duty, they come to those histories through the lens of that game and through the lens of the archetypes and stereotypes that those games perpetuate. The interactive media makes those tropes even more powerful because the students are taking that role and internalizing that role in some ways as they play. And as they do, I think it informs their understanding of history even deeper than a movie does. A movie, it's easier to kind of disconnect because Right. You don't have choice in that, but with the video game, you are making those choices. So I've looked uh, at a lot of variety of these games that deal with the theme of the American West, and, and particularly in the role of how it plays in terms of uh, ideas of masculinity, um, how it plays in terms of informing narrative about the West, and kind of a feedback loop in some ways that the developers build off a sort of idea of a mythic West, and then the expectation of the audience and the game players also have an idea of what this this West is. I teach a class on the American West and pretty much to a person, everybody that takes that class comes in with the idea of gunslingers, saloons, brothels, as if they just walked away from playing Call of War as or Red Dead Redemption. And after a few weeks, they start to get the idea that their idea of the West itself has been mythologized. And, and, and this really gets to the point where games inform a lot of our cultural understandings about the past and therefore reading them critically becomes uh, important in terms of how they're using the past but they also become historiographical tools themselves in that they are ways that the present are demonstrating a history of something and while they might not be purely academic in any way they are reimagining the past in a way that um, tells us something about the present.